the keynote for the evening, staying relevant in a millennial-driven marketplace. Mr. Venkatesh Kinney, President, Coca-Cola India and Southwest Asia, requested to please come up on stage. Mr. Venkatesh Kinney has over 24 years of sales marketing and general management experience in India, USA, and global roles. He's led the global design and rollout of Minute Maid Master Brand and helped create $3 billion brand, successfully turned around Coke's India business. He's also managed marketing for Coke's global bottled water business and the sparkling flavors business for Coca-Cola North America. All yours. We're waiting to hear from you. All right. Thank you. So let's talk about millennials a little bit. Millennials are different, right? They are irreverent, they have shorter attention spans, they're hard to convince, they are all about now, the 2020 generation, selfies. Even Obama started to do selfies. Okay, very rational, fickle, all these things. That's not true, okay? There is really nothing different about today's teens or today's millennials versus earlier generations. They aren't that different. You know, you talk, you talk about human emotions, they still love, they still hate, they still fear, they still hope, they have passion, they have desires, they have needs, they have wants. It's the same as before. And the way to connect with them, again, is content, that spread through time with or without us. Now, does that sound familiar? It's called storytelling. And storytelling has been an art form that's been around for millennia, for centuries. If you think about it, um, in the old days, in tribal cu cultures, if you think about the aborigines in Australia, the village would gather around the campfire and the shaman would talk, would, would tell stories, dream time. We have our own storytelling culture in the country. Right? Stories that are spread, stories that, are, that appeal to humo, human emotions, stories that appeal to a higher purpose. Anyone know the Mahabharata or the Ramayana? Brilliant storytelling. Brilliant storytelling that spread through word of mouth, brilliant storytelling that appealed to human emotions, and brilliant storytelling that appealed to a higher purpose. So for marketeers, for brand owners, the best way to connect with consumers, the best way to connect with millennials or Gen Z or Gen X is through storytelling. So let me tell you a little, little bit about how we do it and how we've been doing over the years. In 1971, you all would probably remember that the world was going through some strife. We had the, the Vietnam War was going on. Um, the flower power generation was coming of age. And there were massive protests against the war. At a time like that, in that cultural context, this ad came out and essentially it was a call for peace and harmony. And because it came out at a time when the youth of that generation was looking for messages like this, it got picked up, it got spread, and it connected really, really, really well. So well that it became one of the most well-known ad campaigns possibly in, in advertising history. Um, so how do you do that in the 21st century? You saw how Google did it. In fact, I was in the US when uh, the rebrief happened with Google and uh, brilliant execution. Well, what some of you may have seen the connection between what Google did in the US and what we did in India with India and Pakistan. And that those two vending machines was built on the same technology that was invented along with Google in the US uh, two, three years ago, I think. And that campaign, the India-Pakistan um, vending machine, was released last year at a time when tensions with Pakistan were actually at their height. Uh, you all remember there was an incident where an Indian in a Pakistani jail died. 
at that time, when this thing came out, it was again a counterpoint to a cultural reality in the country. Another one I want to share with you is, <clears throat> again, emotions, human emotions. Uh, sharing a Coke or sharing a little bit of happiness is one of the most powerful emotional hooks you can have. Again, over the years, we've leveraged celebrities uh, to connect with, with uh, generations, and that hasn't changed. So what, what I'm really trying to say is that people really haven't changed. What's changed are the tools of communication. What's changed is you had television earlier. Today you have mobile screens. You have internet. You have a whole host of new tools to connect. But how you connect and how you make people fall in love with your brands really hasn't changed. And it's all about the story being more important than the message. And for stories to be powerful, they need to be shareworthy. They need to be simple. In today's day, if you can't describe what you're trying to say in a hashtag, then you know, you're just not simple enough. And uh, the Twitter generation, I think, knows this better than anyone else. So I want to give you two examples from our recent history and recent past on how we've used stories and connections to connect with today's millennia, millennial genes. Yes. So one is Coke Studio. I'm assuming all of you have, uh, are aware of Coke Studio. The other one is uh, Sprite Teen Day Till I Die, which uh, uh, we conducted in a few campuses, college campuses in India, and the results were, were remarkable. So let's start with Coke Studio. Coke Studio is a simple concept. It, it actually originated in Brazil. And it was picked up by Pakistan. And they created a fabulous concept around it. And then later, it's moved to India. And now it's gone to many parts of the world. Coke Studio is actually now a, almost a global or a multi-country uh, platform. And it's all about connecting, or, uh, you know, connecting different kinds of music that wouldn't normally get together and creating original content, but leveraging lesser known or emerging uh, musicians. A lot of people have built their careers, a lot of musicians have built their careers of Coke Studio, and it's not through Bollywood kind of music. It's not through the standard masala kind of stuff. It is ex it's music that is actually new, different, and um, with emerging genres. So over the last two years, we've connected Coke Studio with our consumers, with our target audience, using multiple platforms, whether it's television, uh, the package, the label, internet, obviously, radio. Um, we've used uh, concerts. We've used a whole host of other connection points. And I want to share with you a small video, an excerpt from a, of a small video of a concert that we did in Jalandhar at a university called Lovely Professional University. And what's interesting about this concert is that thanks to Coke Studio, an Assamese singer, an Assamese singer named Pepon, who you probably might have heard of, enthralled 25,000 teens mostly from Punjab by singing Assamese songs that they couldn't understand a word of. And only thanks to Coke Studio were the two able to come together. So music, which has enthralled people for centuries, as a means that there's no difference between what we've been doing in the past and what we're doing now. But the tools that we're using to connect with today's millennials is what's allowed us to, um, is what's allowed us to connect across platforms, as you said earlier. And today, I think Coke Studio has become almost uh, an integral part of our marketing plans. So Sprite, and you saw the ad for Sprite earlier, which has always been about bujai only piyas, baki or bakwas, or clear hai. Um, we came up with this property called Teen to Die, which essentially invited college uh, students to express themselves on YouTube using their own um, chal. So in 60 days, we reached 50% of the youth target audience in Facebook. 
We had 83 million impressions and 834,000 fan actions. And the kinds of content that was generated blew us away. What does this mean for uh, engaging with, uh, with people? It's the same old formula, the power of a story well told. It's about human emotions, connecting with human emotions, the same as it's always been. And it's about appealing to a higher purpose. Today's millennials are like any others. Right? You've got to appeal to a higher purpose. You've got to appeal to a, a, a sense that's greater than themselves. So I want to end this uh, talk with a little example of what I think is uh, an idea that encapsulates all of this. Um, this is an idea where um, we told a story about blind footballers, blind footballers in Brazil, who would never get to see the FIFA World Cup because they can't see it. So that's all I had to share with you. Uh, thank you for your time.